What is going on everybody? Hummus Thunder here bringing you a brand new Black Ops 4 video. I've been posting a quite a bit of Apex Legends videos, so if you haven't seen those, go ahead and watch them after this video. They're pretty funny. I spent a little bit of time working on them, so I hope you enjoy it. I'll also put them in the description down below, so whenever you're down there, click that button and get you to another video. We're going to talk a little bit about the SOG and how it was nerfed, but really it's still really good so that's definitely what the video is going to be about i had some pretty nice gameplay i'm not going to cut any of it it's just 100 percent the way i played it that's the way i'm going to record it and present it to you guys so i really hope you enjoy it let's get right into the video let me start this off by saying good job to Treyarch for finally doing something that the players liked i mean they got a majority of it right with this update i covered it a little bit but i'm just here a few weeks later letting you know how exactly i feel about it and honestly it's a great update there are some things that shouldn't have been done but whatever the majority of it is really good i like it i've been playing a lot of world war ii recently and while i was playing that i came i came to the um not the realization but i kind of noticed that world war ii has a lot of content that black ops 4 has to has to match or at least get get on par with so let's hope black ops 4 gets gets to that uh that that spot where it's doing better than world war ii in terms of content and new added guns and 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 little tweaks and stuff to make the game more enjoyable that's not what the video is about so let's get into what i was talking about at the beginning and with the song you're gonna get some gameplay right here of me playing with the song there are some guns that really shouldn't have been buffed or nerfed for example the auger and the rampart why were they buffed? I'm not sure. I had a gameplay where I used the Rampart probably for the first time, but besides trying to get Dark Matter, I absolutely destroyed everybody. I didn't get the gameplay as I didn't record it, and I'm not, it's not going to be in this video, but I should have. I honestly was in Hacienda, and I did like 45 and 4 with the Rampart, and I got I got four Sniper's Nests. It was, it was crazy. This match, I only got two Sniper's Nests, but that one, I got four. And I, I was just sitting here thinking to myself, why is this buffed? And same with the auger. Everyone is spamming auger now, but that's all right. That's only really two gripes I have. Maybe this shotgun with the dragon's breath, but that kind of did need a buff, but whatever. Now, in, in terms of the SOG, they did nerf it. It got affected for some people. Like, I've asked, to said, yeah, the gun feels completely different. It doesn't feel like the, the SOG, like, when it used to. And I suppose that's their point. I mean, that's what they wanted to do with the gun to make it more balanced for everybody, but... Honestly, when I use it, I still feel relatively the same. I'm still ducking around corners. Mobility is, is the way that I play. That's how I like playing this game. I like running around, looking behind corners quickly, stim shot, sliding, shooting at the same time. I like, that's why the SOG is my gun. It works for me. I just like the way that it handles, the way that it moves, the way that it works, complements my play style. That's the reason why I use the SOG. I don't think this patch really made it that much worse. Maybe for people who don't play with the SOG that often, I could see that. But for individuals who main the SOG, it took maybe a few matches to uh, accustom to it to adjust back to how the song plays and then it just feels like normal and that might just be me some of you might not agree maybe most of you do agree i don't know but that's that's the point of the comment section so let me know if the song feels different for you for me it sure as hell felt a little different felt a little worse when i first started using it but really it just feels like the same after i kept using it regardless of what they do to the song it's always going to be my first choice I love this gun. It reminds me so much of the old Call of Duties, and it's really one of the only guns that I use, besides a few other ones like the Koshka, which I love using. Hitting shots in this game is so satisfying, so sometimes I'll just go around sniping regardless of the map. But back to the SOG, it doesn't matter what they do to this gun. It it works no matter how many nerfs or buffs it gets. There's something that, there's, there's very little guns in this game that offer the mobility that this gun does, and it honestly feels like an older Call of Duty gun to me. Now that might just be me, but that's how I feel when I'm using it, which is another reason why I'm always gravitating towards using this weapon. I could turn a firefight mid-battle, like if I'm getting shot at first, I could turn around and spray them and still win. I do it multiple times in this video if you look. It's just one of those things that work. So why change it now? Now this video does want me to bring up another point. It's not about the SOG, but it's about the Maddox and a few other guns that I spoke about in the beginning. The Maddox, if any of you have used it, if you're aware, they actually released a mini patch to kind of reverse a bit of the effects that they put on the, the Maddox after the patch. What happened was they made it way too inaccurate. I think they buffed, I think they nerfed it too heavily. So what they did is they tone it down a little bit. Now the Maddox is a bit more accurate than it was after the patch, but it still is a little bit more inaccurate than it used to be. I used it one match and I actually absolutely dominated them. I definitely felt a difference uh, from the Maddox compared to when it was released after the patch. And a lot of people didn't really realize that yet. I spoke to some of my buddies who play and they didn't know that the Maddox actually got fixed a little bit. So I wanted to get it out there, let everybody know that the Maddox is actually looking a little better than it was after the patch because I don't know if you guys played with the Maddox 
Maddox, but it was so fucking hard to use. First five shots were absolutely crazy. I remember using the Maddox when the game first came out. It's almost pinpoint accurate. After the patch, they made it like... It'll go left, right, left, right, up. It'll go everywhere. And it was really irritating to use because the change was so, so great. It wasn't steady. And it was just really confusing for people people to use. And even me, I was kind of confused using it. I eventually got it down a little bit, but not to the point where you think I was good using it. But then they released the um, the fix to it. They toned it down a little bit. And the Maddox performs a lot better than it did. So I'm glad they did that. That's a good on them to be willing to be more open to changing the game and giving a little bit more effort, which is what we like to see. The game looks like it's heading into a good direction. So let's hope it stays that way. Now that this update has been out for a few weeks, please let me know how you feel about it. I haven't had the opportunity to ask anybody, do they like it or not like it? I do want to know what your favorite weapon to use now is after all the buffs and nerfs that they added. Let me know if your gun was changed or if it's gotten better or worse. I'll, I do want to hear a bit of feedback as to how you all feel about the new update. And like I said about my last video about Call of Duty and this video, I like it. I think there's a lot of stuff to work for. I finally got the money back. I haven't been playing it that much, but for what I've been playing, I really enjoy it. I do want that bunny outfit for Firebreak, although I don't main Firebreak. Which brings me to one thing I, always, I really want to like fix with this game is give crash some cool outfits that's the person i use the most and crash has one outfit that i use and that's the numbers outfit the warlord one is not that cool looking it looks ridiculous even the bunny one is better than that but i do want to see some more crash outfits in the next operations or or, or put something in the shop for crash at least i do want something for him but that's really all i have to say in regards to adding some content or you know changing something's up a little bit like always people seem to be kind of hesitant on talking about this or why do you have to complain so much about the game or why don't you just play it for what it is well people fail to realize that that's what makes a game grow is when people give feedback and opinions on something you can't sit there and make and and, and have the game be the same old game no changes no community complaining about one thing or wanting something changed that's what makes the game better is when people speak up about things that aren't fair or aren't good or too broken or, or seem to be getting neglected unless you want to play the same old game that came out when if you know the, the first day and want nothing changed don't say anything they're gonna just stuff you with microtransactions and you can have fun there maybe you can get a cool emo if that's what you're into whatever but it's okay to speak up about what you want differently you know that's what makes the game better is people who speak up but like always feedback is, is good that's how a company and the game grows is by feedback from its player base so if, if you find that something is is unfair and needs to get fixed it's okay for us to voice our opinions that we want to change i mean we're buying this game so it might as well be the way we want it to be so it's okay to make videos and stuff or make comments about what you want different i think the game is doing much better than it did in the beginning you know, I just said that, I'm going to say it again, that the game is performing how Call of Duty should have when it came out. Yes, World War II is, is, is I'm going to tell you right now, I have a little bit more fun playing World War II than I do playing Black Ops 4, but that's just me because if you go and play World War II right now, they have a ton, a ton of events. They have a limited time event out right now, and the game has been out for almost two years. And there's new guns, new DLCs. I countered all the weapons in the game. There's nearly 70 weapons now, including primary and secondary. That's a ton of guns, but... I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, Black Ops 4 is down for the count. No, no, Black Ops 4 has a ton of life left, and I'm pretty sure this game is going to get to a point where it's better than World War II, but we just need to constantly push them and constantly remind the community that it's not perfect until, until, until it is, honestly. We got to constantly speak about what can make this game better, what we need to fix, and there are some things that still need to be fixed, and that's just part of the community to speak up and talk about it. That's what makes a game better. I mean, no game gets better if everyone's quiet and just accepts it for what it is. But like always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd be more than happy to see your name pop up on my feed. It's gonna bring a smile to my face and hopefully bring a smile to your face when you get to the end of this video. So don't hesitate to click that button. Let's make this one hell of a channel. Until next time, Hummus Thunder out.